Prodigal Steve returns to the Darkest Dungeon. How's it going, everybody? Uh, last episode went fine. You guys get out of here. Um, where do we go? We went over here, right? We uh, did a level three mission, and it, it turned out surprisingly well. We got We got pretty lucky with those last two battles of just hounds. And in addition to that, our leper and crusader were were really nailing it on the uh, their attacks. Like, despite the uh, the hound's dodge being as high as it is, they managed to uh, hit basically every shot. So, where do we have you? Is that the sanitarium? Yes. You're treating. We did. We did come back with a, a couple of diseases, including this one on Reynald. Um, but Ventress was just a little bit more important. He had uh, some worse diseases here. So, what a hmm. Hundred percent of room battles level three. Um, I. Th I think we'll skip that. Although that trinket is pretty good. Um, kill the wizened hag. Oh, we have a we have a boss over here. Hmm. Do we have a team that can take out a boss right now? I th think the answer is no. Especially, um, especially going to the wield without a, a plague doctor. Yeah, we only have the one plague doctor, and he's in the sanitarium right now. Um, I mean, it is a level one, but I think we all remember how our first encounter with the the apprentice necromancer went so instead of that i mean we could feel these like our a team basically and send them at it what else do we have we have a scouting mission in the ruins which i think might be better i think what i want to do instead of cuz like half of our roster not half of our roster, but, you know, seven, uh, seven of our adventurers here are st have no experience at all. So I think instead of just constantly sending these guys out, you know, our A and, like, B teams, we maybe build up a new team and start uh, leveling them up. Specifically, I want to get it like experience for our grave robber. Okay, so this isn't the move up one. This is what moves her up. Then we have flashing daggers. She can cure blight and bleed on herself. That's pretty good. Okay, so I think we'll send our grave robber. Did I just call her a grave digger? I might have. Um, who do we want on our melee? I think, like, I don't want a jester and a grave robber in the same party right now. Just because, um, it's going to be a lot of shuffling to use them both properly. Like, it's melee forward one, which he... He can use from all positions, which is fine. Forward three. He has something that moves him all the way back. Yeah, finale. You know what? Honestly, this might be fine, having our jester. Um, hmm. I would want him to have a different skill...
maybe finale instead of uh, inspiring tune. Because I kind of want him, I don't know. Because this is going to move him up. He would basically just be using that at all times. Hmm. Okay. You know, instead of you... Ooh. Um, let's put our man-at-arms up front. Who else do we want? I guess we can bring... Do you want to be in, like, the third position? Well, if we unlock Abyssal Artillery instead of Sacrificial Stab, then we can use this, this, that, and then that, and have him in our final position, which might not be so bad. And who do we want in spot two? The issue is going to be, though, being able to attack all the way in the back. I mean, our grave digger, or grave robber, rather, can't do it. He can pull up and clear corpses, so that might be fine. Hmm. How's our Hellion feel about position two? She prefers to be in position one quite a bit. You, however, are fine with position two. All right, so you can go in position two, bring a Hellion in position one, and we'll take you to the guild. Unlock that. Okay. So we'll get rid of that and we'll bring that in. All right, perfect. Now you can go in spot four and I'll let you remember trinks this time. All right, so sort by class, plus eight dodge, minus one speed. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Right, that's the only thing you can equip there. Hmm. You do have a move skill, right? Like, pull moves. Yeah, pull two. All right, so we are actually going to give you the move stone. Like, your speed's going to be real bad. Uh, I mean, it's still four. It's better than, like, a crusader. Okay, minus 15% damage on first round isn't that bad because he can use his weakening curse to open. Alright. So that's fine. Well, are you using any stun skills? No. You only have one stun skill. and you aren't using it. Hmm. Okay, well, how about Do you have any bleed skills? I think the answer to that is also no. No, you have blight. Okay, well, let's look at our man at arms. Do 
You have stun and knockback. It does move you forward one, though. Hmm. Which is actually fine, because she has Breakthrough, which is forward one, and that gets you guys back into the position you want to be in. So that means I'm going to want you to go bef or after our man-at-arms. So if your stress is above 50, you're going to fast anyway. I don't know about that just yet. Um, I mean, we might as well give our grave robber that, right? Okay. So that should be fine. Take a couple of keys. We have one shovel to start. I'm going to bring a second one. Uh, I will bring two bandages. A holy water. Um, it's a short mission. I'm going to bring 12 food just to be safe. Uh, and then just eight torches. And then we'll uh, head out. Hopefully this party arrangement works well together. Face out the halls of your lineage once familiar. This is actually now, super easy. Foreign. Um, we could go either of these directions and then just skip this room. Or we could go, you know, this direction and then skip this room. I think I'm going to go this way because if we get scouting, we'll be able to skip either of those rooms. You know, whichever one is worse, basically. I'm going to ignore that, uh, the curio. Just move along here. Uneventful first hallway. That's fine. Go ahead and burn this torch and head in. And we got nothing except scouting, which is good. All right, so we know this room is empty. So this is probably going to be where we go, unless there's, you know, no battles at all on this end. And there's, like, one battle here. But even then, we might, you know... Why not, right? Alright, so we know we're going to be fine going into this room. Because it's got nothing in it. We got more scouting. Okay, so we know we have two battles coming up here. Now we'll burn a torch right before we initiate this combat, and it's not even that bad. Now uh, we did get the surprise, which makes sense. Somebody has a uh, a trinket, right? That does uh, surprise stuff. Oh no, it, it keeps us from being surprised. All right, um. Well, what do we have here? Four to nine damage, 80% chance to hit. I don't want to go forward two. What's this? Three to seven, 75%. Uh, their blight resist isn't terrible, but honestly, I think we just pick to the face. Six damage, not bad. Um, Yeah, we're gonna have to just go ahead and weaken either of these. Uh, he's basically just gonna be our healer, I think. So... Alright, I don't really want to use either of these and debuff ourselves right away. So I think we just Wicked Hack. 6 to 12. I mean, either one is a guaranteed kill. You know, assuming we hit, naturally. 
Which we did. Um. Yeah, I don't want to mark us. I don't know if that lasts at the end of combat or if it's per round. So we might as well just crush. 70% chance to hit. 75. 70. Um, yeah, let's go with the 70%, I guess. I didn't realize his accuracy was, like, base accuracy was so bad. Ooh, I like the Onyx. All right, we have uh, a Curio. Might as well investigate. Ooh. Uh, Blight. It's for six damage. That's not great. I guess, um, we could try... Anti-venom on those in the future. See if that uh, has any effect. All right. Head into this hallway. All right. No surprise on either side, which is acceptable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and take out this uh, courtier here in the back. I mean, I didn't expect to get the kill. I just, you know, with our Grave Robber. I just want to get them taken care of as soon as possible for that exact reason. Okay. All in all, uh, this is going pretty much as easily as expected. I mostly just wanted to um, start building up some more some more party members. Get us uh, get some options. Three to five, two to three. Uh, let's go with the attempt to kill. And the crit. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, what do we do here? I think we just roll with... Actually, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and do this. We'll move ourselves forward. Five damage. Stunned him. Pushed him back. And then we can use... Breakthrough to get her back where she belongs. Six damage to each. We are in position. She does take a debuff for three rounds, but it could be worse. Now, how is their HP? 23 of 31 and 18 of 26. Since his healing is so inconsistent, I think we try for it. Yeah, one HP. She resisted the bleed, though, which is good. Uh, and now we can pick to the face before this guy gets a chance to retaliate. As the enemy and there we go. Done and done. Uh, yeah, we get more Onyx. We got some uh, some crests. We do need deeds, though. Locked display cabinet. I mean, might as well, right? 500 gold. Yeah, I would say that was worth our key. I mean, it literally paid for itself. Ooh, I should have burned a torch before we came in here. Oh, we got scouting anyway, though. Okay, so we do have a room battle here. Which is not unsurprising. I'll just burn the one torch. We'll move through this hallway. Hopefully this is, uh... Oh, yep, go ahead and eat. That's exactly what I wanted it to be. Uh, an unburnt torch. Maybe I should have taken, like, ten torches, but usually we have extra. Alright, so we'll burn two here just because we know we're going into a battle. Ooh. Alright, so we want to pull this guy up to the front if we can. I love the dodge. Yeah, so let's go ahead and use uh, Damon's pull, or Demon's pull, and try and get him out of position. Yeah, alright. Now he's going to have to use Bayonet Jab, which is less than ideal for him. Um, still, though, I think... Do we want to try and Blight? I mean, nine points of damage. We might as well, because I don't know that we have... Well, unless we can kill one of these, I don't. I think we just go for the blight. Get some damage over time to to this one. Yeah. 
Joke's on you, she can move back up. Uh, she doesn't need to, conveniently. Uh, I'm going to go with the Wicked Hack here, just to, to keep her, you know, avoid the debuff for as long as I can in this combat. And the 10 damage on that Arb- or yeah, the Arbalist is huge. Alright, Bleed Resist is great. Uh, not a huge fan of that um, debuff. But we can finish off the Arbalist here, and that should bring our... Acolyte? Is that what this is? Yeah. Into position by clearing corpses with uh, our occultist. Ooh, your, your HP is actually kind of bad now that I'm looking at it. Alright, how much HP do you have? Six? So if the Blight hits again, you'll die next round. I like the crit, not that it did any more damage. You did get blighted, so you are deceased. Okay. Now we can crush... This guy, I guess? For eight damage, that's real good. Now, I was going to use this to pull the Acolyte forward and clear corpses, but I think healing our Hellion is more important. Oh, man. Well, that's the, uh... That's the gamble you take when you bring an occultist with. We should be able to finish this guy off. Oh, we definitely do. Okay. I like the dodge. That's real important, because our HP is getting kind of low. Now we're just gonna pick to the face this guy. Uh, four damage is fine. Ne Ooh, seven damage is real rough. Oh, man. Okay. Well, let's crush this guy. Yeah. Finish the battle. Blightstone. Plus 20% blight skill chance. You have a blight skill. So, we might as well give that to you. Uh, you have to eat some food. There we go. Get your HP back up. And now we head this route. Oh. Five damage on our Grave Robber plus 19 stress is not what I wanted to see. Crate's empty. Eh. You know, better than a negative consequence there. Alright, so we do have an empty room. Alright, what do we think? Head for this room, and then... Yo, know, maybe it's got treasure in it? Alright, I'll burn one torch now, and then one torch before we enter this final room. And again with the trap. Five damage, 19 stress. We did get another 750 gold for coming this way, though. Oh, so much for burning that torch. We completed the quest, and there wasn't a battle, so we are going to continue adventuring here. We do get scouting, so we know there also isn't any more battles. But we might as well check out these curios. Uh, I mean, we got nothing but time. Stress is going to go up a little bit just by virtue of the torch being uh, lower than would be expected. Okay, so this is a buff. Yeah. All right. See, we're learning, if nothing else. I've, uh, I've managed to remember exactly what that curio does for us. All right, as expected, this room is empty. We'll go ahead and burn a torch and head back to our starting room. I'm not going to mess with those books. There's, it's too likely that we get a negative quirk. Um, 60, 50, 90. Yeah. I figured the uh, grave robber would be the best at that. Okay. Um, 
yeah, let's just uh, head back. All right, so we got bounty hunter trinket. Um, you know, 6,500 gold and four crests. Not bad. And everybody did level up. Minus 3% crit range skills. Honestly, that's fine. I don't think she has any ranged skills. Plus 10% blight resist is great. Is not allowed to visit the brothel. Uh, not the end of the world. Plus 10% protect is incredible, though. Unholy hater. That's super fine. Okay, that went great, honestly. Um... Medical breakthrough. The time and gold were not spent in vain, however, as today caregivers announced they have succeeded in concocting an effective antidote. Medical ward is free this week. Ooh hoo. Okay. Well, we're gonna certainly take advantage of that. Our Arbalist did cure two diseases, which is fantastic. So now we have Reynold still has wa uh, Wasting Sickness, and Ventress has Wasting Sickness, but those are the only two with diseases, and it's not going to matter after this week, because they're both going to the Sanitarium. Okay, get everybody out of the roster, head to the Sanitarium, you treat Wasting Sickness, Ventress, Wasting Sickness. Oh man, that came at like the perfect time. All right, so sort by stress now. These three almost guaranteed have to go for stress relief. I like that the uh, front changes too. I'm pretty sure that is new thanks to the, uh, the event. All right, so let's head to the tavern. You have the worst... Uh, stress, so you can actually go to increases stress recovery. All manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross. Oh, we're actually short on crests hand. now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, saving two hundred gold was worth the uh, heirlooms that we spent there. Do you have any restrictions? No. I kind of want to send you to get some of these treated. All right, let's look at the sanitary real quick. Treatment library reduces positive quirk treatment by 10. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, I think this is just... Uh, cost going down, and I, I don't think they'll ever have a chance to treat more than one... Um, quirk at a time. So instead, we just send you to go gambling. You also have no restrictions. Um, we'll send you here. And then our grave robber can go to the bar. Okay. Um, all right. That went surprisingly well I'm very pleased with our town event but I think that's gonna do it for this episode um, if you've enjoyed this video consider hitting the like button it really helps me out as always feedback is welcome in the comments below and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you next time